Hello everybody, this is Dr. Novak. What you're looking at here is a tank over a year ago, Peter Krupp's tank. It has a wear and it has a sump. And a year ago he contacted me and said he would like to do a tank with a plenum. So he bought this Penplax under gravel filter. Didn't fit the whole tank because it's a 75 gallon, but he placed it in there and I said, yeah, that would be good enough. He has one uplift tube, as you can see with the white on it, and that's it for the whole entire plate. He also thought of a good idea that I used even in my aquarium by putting a uh, substrate, a little bit of a, a bacteria growing substrate underneath the plenum. This is marine pure and it comes in these chunks like this. Now you can also use this marine pure. It's just placed it on the bottom of your aquarium and then put a mesh on top of that and use that. After getting everything set up he used the fluval red on top of that. I made it about three to four inches thick and this is Mr. Krupp's tank a year later. This is what it looks like. And as you can see, it's doing quite, quite well. He's using two uh, Kesso Tuna Suns on top of it. He had a different lighting, but it wasn't quite right. So he went to the uh, Kesso lighting, and he seems to have liked it. But anyhow, for a tank that's well over a year old now, Look how nice the plants look. Look how well everything's doing. It's another tank that uses uh, plenum and some BCB bags in his sump. And this is good to see, good to show people how uh, well other people are doing. Now, he just started using um, CO2 in his aquarium just a few months ago to help with his plant growth. And uh, apparently this is a lotus, but this is a uh, large lotus. This is not one of the smaller lotuses. This is going to be a large leaf lotus. But as you can see from his pictures, you don't see all kinds of hair algae and algae. Tanks nice crystal clear. And for being a year old, he's not having any problems with it. And this is good to see. I thought I would make this short video to show you that he just made his plenum with the fluval red. And uh, I think that's it. I don't think he really used any kitty litter or anything. Just made it with the fluval red. Here's the Kessel lighting that he's using. Um, not cheap, inexpensive lighting, very expensive, but apparently it's doing the trick for keeping his tank going. Um, he has no complaints about it, and I think everybody wants a tank like this. Crystal clear, plants doing great. Like I said, he just introduced seal to, I'm going to say, five, six months ago. So... For quite a while there, he had no CO2 going. And uh, look at the pictures good. Look at it. You don't see algae. You know, and, and there's another thing. You watch these YouTube videos, and don't you get kind of tired of these YouTube videos where people, after about a year, they say, oh, I'm going to take that tank down. Uh, I neglected it. That's uh, really something else when I see videos like that. And, of course, when they do show a close-up of it, you see all kinds of hair algae growing all over everything and string algae. And uh, that's a shame that after a year, that happens to so many hobbyists. But most of those hobbyists are still placing their substrate directly on the bottom without using a plenum. And uh, it's good to see that what people say that you can't 
use a plenum or it's no good, it doesn't work. Well, here's proof. Here's Aquarium. It's over a year old. No problems using CO2, light. I don't know about you, but it looks like a pretty good aquarium to me. I think it's an aquarium that most people would want. This is a short film that he made of his aquarium. And I want to thank Mr. Krupp for uh, sending me these photos and everything of his aquarium after a year. But uh, it's very impressive. And th this is just using the fluval red. And he has BCB baskets in his sump. So he's using both. But uh, isn't this what you want? And look at the wood. Do you see the wood? How clear it is? It's not all full of algae, string algae. Great tank. Great looking tank. Anyhow, I thought I'd make this short video of another hobbyist with a tank that's over a year old. And this gives us a little bit of hope that if we do make a tank, because usually tanks, when they reach that year old mark, uh, they should be settled in and they should be uh, working just fine. They should be a reliable ecosystem that uh, needs very little work. But yet, when you watch these videos, people say, oh, it's a year old, I have to tear it down, or, or I'm going to change that tank. Uh, I neglected it. You know, how many times are people going to say that? Well, it's a beautiful tank, Mr. Krupp. Uh, for being over a year old and it looks like you're on the path to great success. I'm sure a lot of my audience are looking at this tank right now and wishing they could do it well. Just follow the directions that I give you and in fact uh, like I said on March 14th the 90 gallon I set up will be over a year old and I'll show you pictures of it. Anyhow until next time, I want to thank you for watching uh, and happy fish keeping.